Now here is my disclaimer right at the beginning instead of at the end. And that is, I have a feeling that this is going to be one of those series that goes on and on and on because it's sort of fraught with problems. And I've already got a problem and I don't even have the kit yet. I'm expecting it in the mail today or tomorrow. So you want to know what happened? Well, I downloaded the instructions so I could go through them. I like to read through the instructions completely before I actually start a kit. And that way I'm not hit with a surprise after I've done something wrong. Anyway, take a look at the instructions and they require a 37 64th inch bit. Now I thought I had absolutely every single bit available at least for brass tubes. Even that flashlight that I turned. <laughs> the brass tube on it was pretty big. But you know what? The brass tube for the cap on this pen that I'm getting turns out to be even bigger. Unless they made a mistake. I'll know when I actually get it. But it needs a 37 64th, which I don't have. And I'm thinking now what am I going to do here? Well, I'm going to try and bore it out. So today, well, I'm speaking of boring, this is boring, right? Anyway, I'm going to try and bore it out today on a sample. And if I can do it, then I won't order a bit. Because they're kind of expensive. The postage is what makes it expensive. Now this is a piece of mahogany. And of course so is this. Turned it down to approximately three quarters of an inch round. The idea is, right now, I'm going to find the center of this one right here and drill a hole up into it and then see if I can bore it out to 37 64ths of an inch. Yeah, I got a feeling I'm going to have a problem. I think that this is going to be very, very weak. The walls are going to be very, very weak if it's only three quarters of an inch round. Could be that what I'm going to have to use on this pen is something larger than three quarters of an inch stock. Now I do have some nice burl that is bigger than that. I'll show it to you after. Now this bit is a 33 64th. So you can imagine a 37 64th not going to leave very much wood here. So I am I can pretty well guarantee this isn't going to work. But I'm going to drill it out anyway and see what I can do with this sample. Then I'll try a larger sample. Now this hole that we just drilled was 33 64ths. In other words, 516 thousandths of an inch. Hole I need is 37 64ths or 578 thousandths. So I would think that if I was to adjust this to 578, see if I can get it here. It's kind of hard to do it right on, but there we go, 578. So what I do now is I just uh, increase the diameter of the hole until it gets up to this diameter. At least that's the plan. Okay, as you can see I've changed my tactics here. Got a drill bit shimmed in there pretty well in the right place. It's set at a bit of an angle this way maybe only half a degree. The idea is that only the point of the drill bit will be uh, cutting. And what was happening was once I got much past this uh, cutter here it was starting to rub on here. And I think what's happened is this has been sharpened down so many times that this little carbide tip here is now too short. Or not wide enough. Anyway, we'll try this. My plan now was I was going to just drive this right through and out the other side of that little piece of wood. 
And then I realized that when it breaks out the other side, it's probably going to get chips and sawdust and everything on the inside. I don't know what the inside of this looks like, other than I do know it has a, a scroll gear. And I don't want to be getting a bunch of sawdust, you know, stuck in that, and then wondering later on why this doesn't work as good as it used to. So I think I'm just going to give up on that. What I was finding was that although I had the diameter right here, it was kind of tapering slightly as it went in. So uh, in other words, that wasn't good. So in other words, this thing here must have been giving a little. At least that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, well, it was a thought. I think I'm going to have to just uh, break down and spend the money and get the uh, 3764 bit from William Woodwright and just wait, wait for it to come in the mail. Maybe there's something else I need from him at the same time. Make it worthwhile. Actually, there isn't.